What's up, Geeks 4x4? I was out here doing the excursion walk-around video, and I started thinking that maybe I should do an excursion tip and trick video. Because, you know, I've had this excursion, like I said in the walk-around video, if you haven't seen it, link up below. Up, up below. Up above, thank you very much. Uh, the I've had the excursion since I was six, so I've been a kid in the back. I learned to drive in it. First vehicle when I got my license. This. And uh, I know a few things about it. You know, kind of a fun uh, fun deal. Love this thing. Think I'm going to have it forever. Uh, unless Ford really, really, really entices me with a new one or something. But uh, I think I'll probably just keep fixing this guy. I like it a lot. So, uh, anyway, let's do a little bit of tips and tricks. First one, on the front, just showed you guys in the walk-around video, a light bar fits behind the grill. You might not even be able to see it from over there. But a light bar fits behind the grill. It's good to know. 24-inch windshield wipers. From the factory, Ford sends it with 20-inch windshield wipers. 24s fit. Actually, 26 fits on the driver and 24 on the passenger. I started running just 24s on both sides. I like it a lot. Another thing, on stock four-wheel drive suspension. I don't know about two-wheel drive, and I have seen this, though, so I'm not sure. Uh, 285, 75, 16-inch tires on the stock wheels 100% fit the stock suspension. I ran this truck like that. We put 285, 75, 16s on this truck in 2003, and I didn't do the leveling kit until 2015-ish. Uh, and so, anyway, they do fit, I promise. Another excursion slash Super Duty tip, uh, if you didn't know, the old ones, if you have fog lights and you couldn't figure out how to use them, Turn this to headlights and pull it out. That turns your fog lights on. Up on the inside. Let's see what else we got going on here. My radio clock is on. That's exciting. That must be because the lights were just on. Does your excursion have a rattly dash after uh, 20 years of ownership or 20 years of being around? Well, I just had this dash off, and I noticed that there was a inner mount piece that actually bolts into this piece it's black so there's a tan piece and there's black on the inside and i put little like of those rubber feet buttons on the in between the black and the tan and it has really quieted down the dash from all the cold rattles that it used to do so anyway excursion tip check it out Another one, this up here is called the Lyo meter. It kind of works. Uh, it doesn't really know the fuel mileage. Uh, but if it doesn't work, pull it apart and you'll be able to find the little things, little black pieces that have rattled free and uh, now are making it not light up. If you solder them back onto the board, it lights up, fix a couple of them. Another inside tip, with the back seat out, with these seats folded flat, because they do, uh, it is eight foot two inches or so, and four foot wide to next to the tire, next to a 265, 70, 75, 16 spare tire on the stock wheel, uh, you can fit four by eight sheets of plywood. If you didn't know that and you have an excursion, it's true. You can do it. Excursion paint. Yay. In the back, this cabinet fits a trailer hitch. Goes up in there. Even a long trailer hitch will go up in there a little bit further. But I have the Anderson 4 inch drop, uh, two and a half or 2 and 5 sixteenths and 2 inch ball hitch. And it fits in there awesomely. Uh, pretty cool. Don't ever close the top hatch before the barn doors. You'll have to replace the top hatch. They hit and crack. Personally, I haven't done it. I've seen a lot of people that have craziness. Let's see. C code springs. You want to do anything with suspension? Any size lift. Call Junior at ATS. Junior at ATS is the man for suspension lifts. 
uh, he can get you the right spring rate and make it ride right and handle right. And that is really important because as they get old, the thing handled really good for a really long time. But as it got old, it got sketchy. By replacing the springs, got back to what it was feeling when I first started driving it, which was at 135,000 miles. Sway bar links. You'll always hear a clunk in the floor. Body mounts do start to go at a certain age. Sway bar links are always a culprit. Look at them. They're annoying as heck. I've probably put six sets on there. Um, yeah. Other than that, I'm trying to think of more excursion tips and tricks. And I don't know that I can think of any. If you can think of any more, put them down in the description below. Well, that'll conclude our excursion tips and tricks video. Uh, just figured I'd throw some at you. Like I said, it's been around since I was six, so it's been in my family, been around me for 20 plus years. Uh, also, we have an 02 and an 03, all seven threes, all four wheel drives. Great trucks, and uh, I don't know what else to call them but a truck. They're an SUV, but they're a truck with a cab on the back, pretty much. They're uh, great vehicles, great for towing, and uh, great for road trips. They're so comfortable. Nice to have all the room in the world. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Hit that dang like button. We'll see you guys next time.